He, he apologized, right? For real? No, I, I thought. Hold on. <laughs> I couldn't wait to pull this one up. <laughs> oh, really? I couldn't wait to you. This is my detector. This is my goddamn. <laughs> I swear to God, I couldn't wait to put it. I was waiting on as soon as you said something in the interview that I just went to, I couldn't when I couldn't answer a question or did I di oh, really? This is how I respond. Okay, I, I didn't know that. Oh, really? Okay, so if he did, oh, let's, really? let's say he did, could you let bygones be bygones? I don't, like I just said, I don't got no, so, I'm not beefing with him. Right, you're not beefing with him, but if you seen him, could it be love? And be like, what's up, bro? I, it's all good. I said it could be love. I'm asking, could it be? It could be you go that way, I go this way. <laughs> That's respect. I, I ain't I, mad I, at that. I'm not beefing with him. I don't want to do nothing to him. What happened? <laughs> don't put this shit up, bro. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Are we about to get started? Yo, what's pop? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. I mean, it look different in here, but you know the vibe's still the same. My guy, Doughboy in the building. Big O, really? Oh, really? So, my boy, man. My guy, appreciate you pulling up again, man. I appreciate you having me. BZ went crazy. For sure, overly. Bro, you had a lot of features on there. Yeah. I feel like that was a project that should, like drag your nuts a little bit. Yeah, just, just, yeah, exactly. I like when yeah. I looked at it again. I can. Yeah. What was the biggest song from that? Um. Don't say it. Let me guess. Let me guess. Go ahead, guess. I feel like it was a sleeper. The one with Don Tolliver? I ain't gonna say that actually wasn't the biggest song on there. No? It was, it was That was the one you pushed? You pushed that? I ain't gonna say I really pushed it, but I did release it as a I released it as like a focal track though. Okay. I did release it as a focal track. What was the biggest track? Um Try and see. The that's the one with me, Pluto Herb, and uh, okay. Roddy. All right, I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, like, yo, how, like, how was it? How you feeling, man? What, what vibe you in, man? Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just in my bag right now. Like, mm. I've been locked in. I just been, I've been getting back to, to what I'm, what I'm known for. Like, what really got me on type. Mm. Like, it's just. As what far as the sound, like okay, okay, so as far as people people do know, like of course I came up with the whole the 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 Lex Luger sound, the mm -hmm. Southside sound, the mm -hmm. whole like you know that was the beginning stage of Doughboy, but when Doughboy really crossed over to like when I started going mainstream, free bands, like even I ain't even gonna necessarily say because the free bands. Was before too, like that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, that was early. That was it, still yeah, at yeah. the beginning. Man, that's early. crazy, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, been locked so in for a minute. Just, yeah, but like when I really like caught my big records that really started taking off for real was like minivans and walk down, like so. So that sound was like more so. People was trying to compare it to like some. They're trying to say like sound easy like easy, e. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to yeah, say yeah. sound like easy, mm -hmm. but it'd be like it. It used to be so confusing to me because I'd be like, damn. They say I sound like Easy E, but I really flipped the juvenile sample. Like I was like, "Run Forest, Run Forest, Run." That's mm -hmm. a juvenile sample. And then even like the flow on the verse, I done flipped some Gucci Mane. Shit. Like mm -hmm. too many guns can't keep up. So I'm like, where the f they get Easy -E from? But you feel me? The voice. People just it's probably the voice mm -hmm. and and probably the beat too. Mm -hmm. Like so I'm like, okay. So I actually. When I made Walk Down, I made a song on an Easy E type beat on purpose with that old type of flow. Okay. And I'm like, okay, I see that people just like when I do that old school sound. Of so I'm just like, all right. And I did it and that went crazy. And that's when Brian made the video to it. And that just catapulted my to a whole nother level. I feel like you've been in this this space. When I talked to you last time, like I'm coming into my, coming back, getting back in my bag. And even like when you when you think about it, like Minivans was one of the songs that got you a lot of recognition. And then on Beezy, 
the cover art was you in a minivan. Exactly. That's the whole story. So, like, if you look at the BZ cover and you look at the O Really cover, they both got minivans on them. Mm. My two biggest albums, like, O Really was my first, like, explosive album like that that really went crazy. That was when I went, I went number three on O Really. Like, that was one of my, you feel me? That's when I knew, like, oh, it's game time for real. Like, and if you look at that cover. What was that, like, three years ago? the story. What O Really was last year. Well, 2023, 2022. Which one, when you, I think you, because you had hit the charts a couple times. You was like number 10 at one yeah, time, I, like three years I ago. I ain't going to bet. Since I really been, since I signed my deal, since I started dropping albums, I hit the charts every single time. The first time you hit it, yeah. I know you was like, yo, I'm re- I am remember yeah. you saying it, like, I'm yeah, up here facts. with it. My first time hitting the charts, I dropped Streets Need Me Too, I went number 20. Mm. And I'm like, damn. And then I dropped, uh, what I dropped after that? I think I dropped 56 Birds. And, but mind you, that was on some, like, out the blue, out the blue. Man, you know what's so crazy? While I'm playing, man, I was charting before I even signed. Mm. Man, when I was still, my first time ever charting was in Free Bands We Trust 2. I was still independent. That motherfucker went 175, like, Damn. out of the top 200. And then my next project went, like, like number 50-something. Like, you feel me? And it just kept climbing. Is, it, I, is it regular now? Is it, no, is it normal now? Yeah, because I know I'm a, cause it, it, it's to the point where, like, if I drop, I know what's going on. Like, it's okay. automatic. It's like one of those things where I know, like, my fan base is to the point to where anytime I'm dropping, it's going to go crazy. But you're still from the trenches, though. So, like, when does it ever feel like, because, like, for me, like, yeah, I get a lot of celebrity interviews or whatever, but every now and again, it still feel like, even when you hit me, it feel like, damn, like, this where we at? <laughs> like... No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hit me like, yo, we got to do it again. And I'm like, it's like, damn, like, this is where we at. It, do it. You ever feel like that at all? See, see, it it got to the point to where, like, sometimes I'll stop and think about that. Mm-hmm. and be like, damn, that's really crazy. But then a lot of times I've been trying to make myself get back in that mode. Okay. Like, because, you know, so used to it yeah. now. It'd be like, sometimes I catch myself be like, damn. And that's where the hunger comes from. That's yeah, where that yeah, good yeah. Shit really come from. Like, yeah, with, yeah. It, because it's crazy because it's, I know for you it was a long time ago, but but also I know you, in your mind, you're like, bro, we was just on, what was it, live stream when you was trying to get with Future? Like, that like that was years ago, but you don't never, like, damn, bro, like, I'm here. Like, I was just asking to be here and I'm here. Uh-huh. No, for sure. Damn, bro. It's funny, but we was just talking about this off camera. You from East Cleveland. Yeah. But East Cleveland is its own city. It's its own city inside of Cleveland. Yeah. So it's funny. I just had this conversation with my with my, with my dog on my, on my other show, right? He said he from Illyria. Am I saying it right? Illyria. Illyria, yeah. right? Illyria, whatever. So he like when he come to Atlanta, he just be like, "Man, I'm from Cleveland." I'm like, "Bro, you can't do that." Like, <laughs> like that's like a no, thing. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. He can't say that. I t- I can say that because East Cleveland is still Cleveland though. Like, so if you were, if you at home and you from East Cleveland and you and you tell me you from Cleveland. And you really from East Cleveland? And the Cleveland is not gonna be I'm like. I'm not gonna never be in Cleveland and be like, I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, nah. What's the difference? As when I come, I'm from EC. I'm from Noah's Ave. I'm gonna tell you specifically. If what's I'm in Cleveland, what's the difference between Cleveland and East Cleveland? Yeah. East Cleveland is like that's my hood. Mm. It's more so. It's like you feel me. But if I'm out of town, I'm not gonna be like I'm from East Cleveland. Like trying to separate it because it's all the same thing at the end of the day. But in Cleveland, they know the difference. Like it's like it's just a hood. It's just like. They from over there, we from over here type shit. Like, like how you said, like, yo, shit, you got, y'all got east side, a west side, yeah. north side, south side. Y'all mm-hmm. got north side, south side too? Yeah, we do. You know, but a lot of cities that have a north side, a south yeah, we side. Do. Like, we they do, do it we by got- size and shit like that. So it'd be like, shit, East Cleveland is just the area that where I'm from. Like, I'm from Nose. So it's not its own city. It y'all- is. It technically is. It technically but it's is. like. How far, how, how far is from, from Cleveland to East Cleveland? Man, you could be right in Cleveland immediately, like literally, like two seconds. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it really, it's the same. Yo, I mean, I, I, I told this before. I'm, I'm in Baltimore, right? I'm with my wife and shit, and we want to get something to eat. I'm on Fulton. I'm over west, right? I'm from over west, and we like, man, we want some, um, we want something to eat. Forgot where we we was gonna go, but we like want something to eat. I'm like, man, you want this? I'm like, man, that's over east. So I go. I'm like, we go there. It took us literally like. Eight minutes to get there. She like, man, but that's just how it is. Same when you in the city, it's like, same shit. 
Yeah, it's like the city only but so big. You could get yeah. across from the whole city in thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. You could literally ride around the whole city in thirty minutes with lights and everything. Unless you going deep, like Alaria, deep out the shit like that. That's not <laughs> Cleveland at all, though. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's not Cleveland at all. I'm with my man, I'm with my dog. Yeah, no, that's his own city. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's his own city. That's not like Cleveland. Nah, fact. But shout out to them because they from Ohio. They more so should be like, I'm from Ohio. You should That's be like, what I said. If you're from Elyria, you shouldn't be like, I'm from Cleveland. You should be like, I'm from Ohio. Yeah. You could root, you could root for any team at that point. You could yeah, be the like, Bengals or the Browns. You from, yeah, exactly. Because you're from Ohio. You, <laughs> yeah. ain't, you ain't from Cleveland, though. Nah, facts. Nah, I get it. Like, you'll never hear me saying. But I'm, shout out to Elyria, though. It go down out there. People got little shit going on. You yeah. full of shit. No, people really got shit going on out no, there. I believe you. Not real shit. You know what's crazy? Because even like... <laughs> This is going to be crazy. Like, we're going to have a good conversation, but just since we're here, I'm going to get ignorant for a little bit. It's crazy because, one, this is crazy because, of course, we we highlighting the negative shit that come from our city, but it's like, it's almost like that's what that's what make us coming up. It's a shame looking back on it as we've grown, but it's like the violence in our city, the the, the shit that we doing, that, that we shouldn't be doing, that's really what, like, create us into men. That shows the morals and the, and, and, and the ethics of, like, being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, standing on business. And it's funny because, like, me coming from Baltimore, I'm thinking Baltimore, like, hey, man, these other cities ain't doing shit, right? And I think I saw you say this in a uh, Karen Civil thing you did. You was like, man, this is like, at the time, y'all had, like, the highest murder rate. Right. And a nigga would never even think and, that. And you know what's so crazy? Like, if you look at the murder rates and shit, like, consistently since I've down there ever been alive, we always... In the top 10. Mm. Always in the top 10. Y'all always in the top mm -hmm. 10. It's a lot of different cities where you really look at it and you be like, damn. You say, when you really think about it, these motherfuckers go crazy. Like, You, you know what's a city that go crazy that I would have never thought about? What you finna say? Indianapolis. Indianapolis? For real? <laughs> that's, it's crazy. That's crazy. So it's like when I say you, because like usually like, you don't know no. When you're from the hood, the only thing you know is your city. Mm -hmm. So like I hear Cleveland. I'm like, all right, Cleveland. And then you get older, you're like, oh yeah, no. no I like that. Is it stepping? Okay. Yo, I ask this to a lot of people. Um, I might have asked you this before. What's some of the the misconceptions you got from the hood that 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 you thought was good back in the day, but now that you're a grown man, you know that that's bullshit. I used to think certain was gangsters. Like mm. certain growing up, I used to be like, man, this gangster. Like, but what's gangster though? Like, see, when I was a kid, I used to think because a could shoot his gun or because a could yeah. beat it up, I used to be like, that was a gangster. Mm -hmm. But then the older I get, and the more I really like. Stand on business. I be saying not gangster just because you will shoot your gun or just because you can't fight. That don't make you a gangster though. Mm. You got a gangster is standing on business in any situation, no matter what. Like, mm. like I ain't folding under no circumstances. Got certain certain circumstances that they will fold up under. Like, mm. just don't bar none. You gotta be a. When I be like, man, that's a gangster. You gotta be not. Barring nothing, like mm. not going for anything, not going for something. Can you, is. can you be gangster in the music industry though? Um, yeah, because you know, gangster is not even necessarily being wild. Gangster is not, oh, because I'll kill you, or because I whoop your ass, or because I rob you, or because I sell drugs, or that don't. That's not. It's not really being gangster to me. Mm. Gangster is. Standing on principles mm. and, and morals and, and being true to who you are. That's gangster. But even that, though, can you do that? Oh, you talk about industry. literally. Can like you stand on, without the negative, can you stand on business? Can you stand on morals? Can you stand on principles? Can you stand on manhood in the industry yes. and be successful? Yes. So I'm doing it right now. What does success look like then? As cliche as that question is. Can you be a A-list celebrity and stand on business? Yes, because I stand on business and I'm on Apple right now. I just dropped a commercial with iPhone. Mm. Real live, the new iPhone just came out. Every time you watch a football game, every time the commercial come on, my song coming on there mm. with a commercial. A-list celebrity type shit, like that, that, that makes an artist an A-list celebrity. Like, them type of... Apple ain't fucking with shit, that's... And I stand on business. So it's like, I, and I know a few that stand on business that's A-list celebrities. All right, so let me ask you this then. Because this is a tricky conversation. I don't even know how we got here, but I'm here now. We see these conversations of how 
record labels want like us to be on board. Let's not even say stand no business. To be on board because they crash out. They got the insurance money. And now all they're going to do is just draw their sales up while you the crash out dummy. Yeah, they want you to be. Yeah, for sure. And, and that's another thing too. Like a lot of people see <clears throat> if a motherfucker notice, it'd be rare that you even look on the internet and gonna find some bullshit about Doughboy, like, as far as, like, that really be going on. Mm. Like, you don't... It's not on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be little shit here and there. Like, you feel me? It might once a year or every now and again to get into it with a nigga on some shit. But it don't never even be that serious. It be... We gonna go there, too. I got you. feel me? It be... Because I know... I, I got... I, we got some shit. I got it. Yeah. We gonna go there, too. But you feel me, though? But it be like... A lot of shit, even aside from me, man, it be so much shit going on in the rap game that people that never f know. Like, I know, that's why I said, I know A-list celebrities who stand no business. Like, mm -hmm. I know I know what's really going on and it be shit, like, this shit, this shit get serious for real. Like, you know, but everything don't got to be on the internet. The the Like you saying, like, you, you, you think the labels want people to do this shit so it can... Hit the blogs and mm -hmm. so it could dry your streams up and shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah, that'll boost it up. But you also gonna be sorry when this go to jail too, cause he gonna go to the more you do that shit, it's like the bad gonna come from it. But in this industry, bro, this is the fucked up thing about it, bro. It's like even when it go to jail, all that shit that's the rapper stock. That shit boost your shit up too. Yeah, until you going to jail and ain't getting out that mother. So I'm your street, right? And 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 you used to be a street. Let's clear that up. How do we grow in this shit, though? I'm, I'm I'm just curious because like, yo, being a rapper is kind of tricky. Like I think somebody said, man, being a rapper is probably like the hardest job there is because it's like you gotta be street. It's like you they work you backwards, kinda. Yeah, but this is the thing you can't let that get to you and let that dictate how you move. Like, even though like I ain't gonna like all exaggeration aside, like no bap or nothing like. Something really ain't right. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, something, you feel me? And it was motherfucker really gonna yeah, tell you that. But I swear to God, though, the way I used to be compared to how I am now is mm -hmm. a big difference. Like, mm -hmm. like, that's why I think everything I've been through happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I went to jail right when I was blowing up for a reason. I had to sit down, I had to grow up. And even when I came home, I still ain't blow right up. I, it been, I've been home for. Years and years and years and years, and I'm just now getting because it's certain shit that I wasn't really ready for. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now I'm all the way to the point where I feel like, man, I don't let certain shit make me mad no more for real. I don't react how I used to in any situation. Like certain shit, I know how to just be like, you got it. I don't care. Uh, he said what? He doing what? I don't care. Before, I really would just be like, you know, mm -hmm. but you feel me? I don't do that no more because I don't care. Cause at the end of the day, I don't got nothing to prove to nobody. That be these problems. They be trying to prove to the world, like I'm a gangster. Like I'm trying to do that, and that's why they always end up crashing out because they be trying to prove points. Get on the internet and go on live and tell you, yeah, we just slid down they block. We just shot them block up. They ain't do nothing. Da -da 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 -da. They get on the internet and really say this. Shit. I ain't finna get on the internet and do none of this. Shit. You feel me though? And I don't care who believe me, who think this is that, or who think it ain't. I don't care. Just stay the on my way and don't play with me. So how do we separate the the real street from the business of it? Like for example, like let's say even with the whack one hundred, right? He get on internet and say some shit. But at the end of the day, I feel like whack used to be in the streets, and now that's like he's like a blogger at this point. How do you yeah. separate like when a nigga say something and it's like bro, I could really stand on business, but I shouldn't. Or it's not even worth it. How does that? Cause that's see, thin line. See, certain situations, it'd be like, you gotta know when a nigga playing internet games and when a nigga like dead ass serious. Mm. How 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 can you tell that? Because when when a nigga get on the internet and say certain shit, like, pull up over here to my address, this the address, and give you the address in front of the whole world. What could you possibly think is finna go? Like shit like that, you gotta yeah. be able to decipher yeah, 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 what's yeah. really what. Yeah. That's even why I was saying when the shit was going on, I was like, shit, let's get on the phone. Like, let's talk on FaceTime. Like, you feel me? But I don't even, 
I don't know. That's what he do though. So I don't even but, entertain that shit or like. I don't understand that because like one part, one side I do understand is the business and entertainment. And then like certain shit, you what I will say is certain shit. If you lived in that life, you can't speak on respectfully, right? And I feel like no, 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 go no. Say no, I was I was curious because like. Even because I, I, I'm hard on bloggers for that because like if you ain't living that lifestyle, certain shit like you shouldn't be talking about snitching. I don't give a fuck. You shouldn't have an opinion. When nigga ask you, I don't know. I don't have no. You shouldn't have no opinion if you ain't live that life because because you know you will probably you will snitch probably like a motherfucker like a blogger will be like uh they they had talked down on a snitch, but the whole time you fuck around and really be a you're not qualified for you're that not, conversation. You don't even bro. understand this type of shit. Man, that's what I'm saying. So, like, it's tricky because a nigga like Wack, I don't really know the nigga personally, so I can't, I don't know. But I would assume that he's really been in the street shit. So he he's yeah, one of them he qualified was, niggas. That's what I, I, I thought he was a goddamn, yeah, you feel me? I would think so. So, again, I don't know him. So, I'm saying I, I would think he's qualified to talk on street shit. But sometimes when you're talking on street shit, again, it get misconstrued for entertainment and, like, what's real. And, like, if a nigga trying to be on street and then you talking about some shit that shouldn't be talked about, it's like... How do a nigga deal with that? So I was like, you gotta understand, like, I don't take it serious. Like, like I don't really got a problem with that. Like, it ain't no beef with dude. Like, like it ain't no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for him. I'm not waking up every day, like, oh, I gotta, you feel me? I'm not thinking about it. So if y'all seen each right now, you're definitely not. Look? No, hell no. Nah. Why not? What? <laughs> And I say all that. <laughs> <laughs> I be trying to get my I said, my Gail King over him. I said I'm not beefing with him, and I ain't looking for him, trying to do nothing to him. <laughs> I ain't say that though. <laughs> well, we, I mean, shit, that's growth right there. Like, yo, he apologized, right? For real? No, I I thought. Hold on, <laughs> I can't wait to pull this one up. <laughs> I couldn't wait to you. This is my detector. This is my goddamn. I swear to God, I couldn't wait to put it. I was waiting on as soon as you said something in the interview that I just went. I couldn't when I couldn't answer a question or did I? Di this is how I respond. Okay, I, I didn't know that. Okay, so if he did, let's let's say he did. Could you let bygones be bygones? I don't like. I just said I don't got no. So I'm not beefing with him. Right, you're not beefing with him. But if you seen him, could it be love? And be like, what's up, bro? I, it's all good. I said it could be love. I'm asking, could it be? It could be you go that way, I go this way. <laughs> That's respect. I, I ain't I'm, mad at that. I'm not beefing with him. I don't want to do nothing to him. What happened? <laughs> don't put this shit up, bro. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, all right. I quit, man. I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. So going back to the uh the street shit. You a rapper. Niggas love the street shit. And even in like, I feel like we was talking last time, you was like, man, you ain't trying to be on that shit. But it's like your rap's gotta be on it. Yeah, because I'm just rapping my, you know. How you feel about these these good. niggas who rapping that shit and not nothing like that? No, but these prosecutors is really putting niggas in these rooms. Does Oh, you was rapping about that? Yeah, you, for sure. But see, this be niggas' problem. Niggas be like, niggas be real life doing dumb ass shit. Nah, facts. You have to not like. <laughs> you can't be stupid though. Like yeah. even it like rapping is one thing, and like crashing out is another thing. You know what I'm saying? So certain people will crash out, and then to be sorry if you get in the. Mm. You feel me? So I'd be like, you gotta be. Be dumb. Yo, can I get some more? I was I was going back on. I was I wanted to ask you this because I asked the question about being able to stand on business, being able to stand on business and um guess what? And the I don't do anything. I haven't done, I don't do no 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 no, no listen, listen, listen. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. I ain't harm nobody. No, no, not no gangster shit. No, 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 not not, not no street shit though. No, no. I'm saying like manhood. Stand on manhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We ain't on the police shit. Stand on man. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you. No, I'm not Because we see, we see, for example, Cat Williams shit going crazy, right? Mm -hmm. He's 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 going crazy on Hollywood. But before Cat Williams, we had um Monique, right? Monique had a conversation with Steve Harvey basically saying, like, yo, stand on business. And basically, Steve Harvey was like, and we had to probably had to put insert the clip so niggas know what I'm talking about. Steve Harvey's basically saying, yo, 
I got to feed my family. I can't stand on this quote unquote. I can't be a quote unquote real nigga because I got to feed my family. So some, I got to play the game that Hollywood gave me. I got to play the game so I can feed my family. And I'm thinking the same with the, the music industry. It's like, if you stand on business, can't you? it's so easy to get blackballed. Yeah, but they can't blackball you for real. They can't. They can't. Look, look, look. Let me not. See, see, people be using this term blackball so freely and throw it around so much. And it's not really because people would make it seem like that, oh, dumb people out to get me. Mm. Nigga, they ain't out to get to the world. Just ain't fucking with you. Like, because if you turn in the world fucking with you, they going to fuck with you. Yeah. Because, Jay. Is it anybody coming and knocking on your door like, hey, no, I don't fuck with him no more. Don't listen to his music. Don't do this and that and the third. Ain't mm. nobody making nobody you stop listening to nobody. You Never. doing that shit on your own just because you're just not fucking with it. Yeah. So if people fucking with you, ain't nothing they could do to stop it. So people need to stop blaming that. People just use that when they shit not going how they want it to go. They don't even be thinking about you. Yeah, that's a fact. Did you did you catch any clips of this cat? cat? Kay. I was just watching that motherfucker last night. What you think about that? That nigga crazy. I didn't even know he was from Ohio. I just found out last night he was from Ohio. That nigga crazy. He don't give a fuck. He been doing that too. I don't know how I feel about that. Would you think he tripping? Part of me feel like some hating that shit. You feel like he hating? Part of me, yeah. Mm. Like I fuck with the the one story where he was saying how he paid for the chick that had a star because it's like she deserve it. She she paid for somebody to have a star on the, um, Hollywood. Hollywood Walk of Fame, some shit like that. I fuck with that. Yeah, I only made it to like the first hour. I yeah, that shit was long as shit. Pause. I ain't get to watch the rest. It's just all the like throwing niggas, like for what? I just feel like, bro, if I'm, like you said, if I'm the shit, bro, I don't got a shit on nobody else. Like, I don't got a shit yeah. on nobody else. Now, I think he did that because they was doing it to him first. I think they, because as I, like when I got on Twitter today and I was looking at shit, I see like, you know, they, everybody gossiping about it. So now I'm seeing clips that they posting to other comedians, dogging him. And shit mm, like that. Okay. So it more so probably was one of them situations they've been on his ass for years and was spreading it and he just was quiet this whole time and just finally was like, all right, I'm exploding type shit. So it was like, I don't know, they got their other shit going on. I don't know. I fuck with all that shit though. All them niggas funny. I don't Nah facts. I just, I just feel like the world be nah, I feel like the world be clapping for hate hating shit. I don't like that. Like niggas they be clapping for hating for they shit. They definitely do. Hell yeah. They and they make haters be okay to be haters. They respect that. That's what they respect. Fuck. You hear a real nigga. Eh. For sure. Where I come from, you don't speak like, to be technical, where I come from, like even this, this journalism shit is a thin line. Because it's like, you got to have, like you got to talk about the shit that niggas want to talk about. But on another side, it's like, you don't speak on no nigga that ain't speak. Like you don't speak on niggas at all, period. But see, see, damn, that must be hard for you, huh? Nigga, what? I not, no, but I've never been a street nigga. Nurse. I never. But you know what's so crazy? This is why I fuck with you though. You don't do like you, you, you coming straight up and down like on some real nigga shit though. Like you ain't on no corny shit. You not trolling. Like you just telling it how it is. Like you feel me? Like you just accent. Like you, you feel? Me? You don't be doing weird shit. Mm. And that's why I came back though. Cause, I like, appreciate. Well, I don't even do that. But that weird shit is selling though. It the weird shit is selling, but this real shit gonna sell too, though. That's why you on your way and your shit been going up because this real shit gonna sell. I appreciate that. The real, real shit. shit always gonna sell. It's gonna win at the end. That that other shit, that gimmicky shit, it don't last. It don't last, man. That shit come and go. He he ha ha. People gonna laugh and it's not gonna be funny in two days. They not gonna care. Mm. Back to the normal. Real shit gonna last forever. It's never going nowhere. That's fire. Never. I was watching one of your um vlogs, um, just preparing for the interview. And I saw you had linked up with Cass. Um, Casanova. Casanova, that's my guy. You, you talking to him? Uh -huh. How you doing? He hit me all the time. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how is that? Cass, great. He great. You know what's so crazy? Even like, like uh, a picture that been going viral of him, like he had the, uh, he had the beater on and the shit. He, mm -hmm. was, he sent that to me before he even posted it, shit like that, though. Like, you know, I he still, still he, 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 he come in every, here and there and feel me, though. Like, he. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's my guy. I, that was always, that was somebody that I say, like, even before he got locked up, I fuck with Cass. Like nah, Cass had no business. Like Cass, like he straight up telling me, like he was giving me, he give me game though, like real nigga shit though, like how he was moving. Cass was on some other shit, like. But you was you was hot before Cass though, right? Yeah, but but like I mean I don't I don't I don't know when goddamn when I got hip to Cass, 
the uh, punch in your face, motherfucker. I knocked. It. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know about like what before that, but as far as like shit, I don't. I don't really. I can't say who was hot first mm-hmm. as far as like that, but for sure I was already doing my thing when I met Cass overly. But he was giving me game as far as like he know what he be talking about with certain shit though, just like how he be moving in the industry. What's the most like pivotal thing he told you? You think? <laughs> I like what I like what um, you want to push person. push your button. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, crap, that motherfucker. I swear I was. I fuck with Cass, man. I um, I talked to him like twice. I did an interview with him like twice. He's definitely no, he's a solid nigga though. He's hundred percent, man. I, good nigga too. You know it's funny, bro, because I want to be um. It's like a part of me want to be empathetic to families that like get hurt in, in any situation, right? But another part of me being from the city, being from Baltimore, is like, bro, like, how can people grow out of their mistakes? Like, because we see a lot of niggas getting arrested, accused of shit that, like, they did years ago. I'm wondering, like, from a nigga that came from the streets, like, do you think we can ever outgrow the mistakes that we made in the past? Or is it always going to catch up to us when, when the time is right? Yeah, you can outgrow your mistakes. You definitely can outgrow your mistakes. Think about it. It seems like it's hard. How many mistakes have you made in your life? Mm. Facts. The motherfuckers ain't bitches buried somewhere. They got damn, man. You feel me? You know how many mistakes a motherfucker to make? Everybody, there ain't nobody in the world that ain't made no mistakes. Not one person breathing on this earth that haven't made no mistakes. So you think niggas that get in trouble, right, for like shit that's for old shit or alleged old shit, right? You think it's because they still got one foot in the game and one foot out? Man, because they don't know how to stop. Mm. If you would have set your ass the fuck down somewhere, that probably wouldn't have been happening. How can how how was you able to stop? How can you stop? How can you stop? You gotta think about it. I went to jail for a, a robbery and a shooting charge, right? Mm-hmm. That went then alone. You know what I did? I came home and I stopped. Mm. I went to jail, I served my time, I learned my lesson and set the fuck down. How much how much was robbing people because it was something that you was used to doing and it became a sport almost compared to something that you probably when you first started and you and you needed to? How much of it was for the sport? Going towards the end, but going towards but before you got arrested. It was it was Cause at the end of the day, I was broke. Even your last one, I was broke. the last one you did. You were still broke. Broke. What's broke? Nigga, I don't got nothing. Cause you was already tied in with Future when you got booked. Cause you was already locked up. I was up. still an upcoming rapper though. You gotta think about it. Like, like nigga, when I really signed my contract with Future, I didn't really sign to Free Bands to act until like, you got the. Yeah. I caught my case already, mm-hmm. and that's why you. I caught, that's why yeah. I signed. Mm-hmm. I ain't get my contract till after I call my case. So I ain't even get no money until and then when I got the money, I had to pay for lawyers and Mm -hmm. goddamn. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like I didn't have money prior to that. Mm. Damn. So you you ain't so once you came out, the money, I mean you still wouldn't have no money. Why you ain't go back? Why you ain't resort to going back? Because you just ain't want to get booked. You see you had too much to lose at that point? Because I had the money waiting on me. When I came home, I'm like, oh, wait, I know what I got waiting for me. Mm. Okay. So, and I came home and it was there. Yo, you know what's funny? I think um, I didn't know this. You feel like you, your man that killed himself, Uh huh. he was playing with the gun. Yeah. You feel like a part of that was your fault? Yeah, I do. You know why? You wanna know why? I feel like I know why, but why? You used to always fuck with the gun. Yeah, I used I used to do stupid shit like that too. But I but only thing is I never put your hand on the trigger. I don't I didn't ever do that. But you never said I always I used to but see my whole thing is only thing where I'd be like, damn, it because I feel like I had them around like some some shit that I really shouldn't even have them around. Mm. You feel me? So it was like I was doing like, I don't know. So that's why sometimes I'll be like, damn, man, maybe if I would have never been like that or never, goddamn, like shit, 
You feel me? Then that maybe wouldn't happen. You feel me though? So it'd be like, sometimes I do think about it, but then at the end of the day, I also got to understand we was, shit, we wasn't grown, but we was grown. We was How old were you, like 17? How old? 17. We was grown enough to know right from wrong, to know like, I shouldn't grab this gun, put this gun to my head and pull the trigger. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't really blame myself for that. Mm. That wasn't really my fault. But probably like the influence, probably like sometimes I'd be like, damn. But it really wasn't my fault because at the end of the day, you wanted to do this too. How was you able to get over that shit though? Because like y'all was close. Like, shit, I, was I, still like ain't, I, don't, I don't think a nigga ever really get over it. I just know how to deal with it. But it'd be like, a nigga don't really, that ain't something you could just get over. Like, you feel me? When you just, like, you know, I'm, I'm talking about like the nigga, like, I literally can reach my hand out like this, like really right here. And you just see a nigga, yo nigga with his shit spilt. Like, you feel me? That shit down there on you, brains, every, you get know what I'm saying? So that ain't no shit that you could just be like, damn. For real. And it is a lot of times, like, it'd be like, you know, a nigga done been through so much shit. A nigga done been through so much shit, shit get buried sometimes, but that shit always come back. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. So it'd be like, it ain't nothing that you would ever be able to be like, man, I ain't gonna never think about that for the rest of my life. Hell yeah, nah. That shit always gonna surface. Like, no matter how long you could go without, like, thinking about certain shit, it'd be so much shit going on. But it'd be like, shit. That's what come with this shit. That being so close in proximity, did you ever think like, man, that could have been me? Yeah, I mean, for sure, for sure, hell yeah. So like, even like not putting yourself to blame, I look at it like I was talking to my guy Wall Street Trap, and he was just saying like our neighborhood create this this false or this fucking dumbass standard that we have to live up to, and then once we live up to a dumbass standard. What it does is it salutes the standard. That shouldn't even be a standard, right? Like, let's say, like, trapping, getting money, guns, getting bitches, right? That was a standard that our neighborhood created, and once we get it, it kind of, like, salutes that. Like, yeah, 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 you get more money from it. You get more bitches from it. And it's like, that shouldn't even be the standard, right? And, like, it's funny because I was listening to the story, and I thought, I'm like, even you might feel sorry for the influence, but you really ain't had no choice because coming up, you jumped off the porch young as shit. Like you, like you was in the trenches young as hell. And I was gonna talk about the, 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 the dude you did, the little kid that you did the song with. And I'm like, that's really all a nigga know. And that's why I, I did it. Like, you know what's so crazy? Even people, like I received so much backlash from that situation right there. And it was like, I done came out and I didn't explain myself a little bit for real. Like I'll get on my story and I done said little shit. But at the end of the day, man, real nigga got to understand, like, if you if you don't come from where we come from, you're not going to understand. Mm-hmm. Just like none of this shit that we doing, y'all niggas really ever understand if y'all don't come from it. Y'all don't understand nothing we even talking about for real, for real. But y'all like it and y'all think it's cute. But what's so, so, so now when this shit really get put in your face and y'all really seeing our reality, it's fucking y'all up. It's hurting y'all feelings, huh? Mm. Y'all like, oh my God, why are you doing that with that baby? Nigga, this our real life. Mm. This is what we've been going through forever. Oh, now y'all heard about it. Oh, now it's hurting your feelings. Now I said, that little nigga, that's his real life. He really from the trenches and that little nigga is a real life, bad little kid. Like he really a product of his environment. Mm. You can't be mad at him for being with the... That's all he know. And niggas like, why you got him rapping about this? Because he can't rap about his fucking ABCs because he ain't going to blow up and get rich off that. He just signed a deal. That little nigga just got a deal. And and that's that's the conversation. It is crazy because... He finna get some money to get the fuck out the hood. Now he don't gotta be around that shit. Now he can he can lead that shit. But if he do what y'all telling him to do, uh, he probably won't never leave. Because I know motherfuckers who didn't went to school and did everything they was supposed to do and still live in the hood, mm-hmm. grown as fuck, ain't left. Shit. So how you telling him not to do this? You telling him not to be successful? Don't say this all because you listen to anybody else doing it. It's just shocking to you because he a kid. I get it. I understand. Kids is is a touchy subject. And that's why I did it. 
I knew what was finna happen before I even did it. I knew they was finna get down my neck. I just didn't give a fuck because I know how I feel about it. And I know how I feel is right in my mind. And I'm standing on that. And I think, you know, it's funny. And that's the conversation I'm trying to have because it's, it's just, I understand. I truly do. And like, we, we want to go through life and like live in this, this like good society and do what's right. But like you said, part of it, like, bro, doing, it's hard. Because I'm trying to use my platform right, but I'm just being real. Because I come from the trenches. Too. I like, can't make this shit up. A lot of times, the niggas that's doing right don't got shit to show for it. Like, we talk about schools and school is important. And, and I don't even be wanting to put them out there like that because I don't ever want to, because I know I got influence. And I don't want people who actually is doing the right thing and going to school and doing what they supposed to be doing to think that that's not what they should be doing. So I don't even be trying to come out there and say shit like that. But nigga, in reality, let's be factual. Like I just said, them niggas still, you, they not taking care of their whole families. They not changing nobody life. How the fuck can you change somebody's life and you still living the same way, if not worse? Yeah, that's why I ask, because, like, I get it. Like, you doing a feature, niggas don't understand. Like, of course, niggas can judge on the internet, right? But, bro, this nigga just had, probably had... That shit helped one that of, little nigga. It's that probably had one him. of his fucking idols do a... Are you stupid? Like, that are you dumb? Him. That shit helped him. That shit helped him, because... You want me to tell you what helped him? Motherfuckers was looking at him going up, and they was fucking with him, but nigga was scared to touch that shit. Mm -hmm. A couple niggas wasn't, because I, I ain't gonna lie, a couple motherfuckers did remix the song and, and do it, too. But, like, certain motherfuckers, like, nigga wouldn't never touch that shit or wouldn't have been like, oh, only certain motherfuckers would. But I feel like somebody got to do it because I see where he going. I see what he trying to do. I was young. I was cussing and rapping and doing this shit. I was rapping about guns and shit when I was a little kid. We was rapping about all type of shit that we didn't have. We Man, when a nigga was eight years old or seven years old, nigga, I'm rapping about cars. I can't even drive. I don't got no chain. I don't got none of this. So hell yeah. So that little nigga not out here shooting people. So let's hope he blow up and get this shit going for him before he really gets to the age because he almost about to be there pretty soon and it really start happening. But my heart goes out to let's go back, right? And this is the whole point, driving it home. How do we decipher the two, bro? Like, because again, you jumped off the porch early, not because I, I wouldn't say you wanted to. You ain't you ain't have nothing else better to do than your, your environment created a fucked up standard that showed you See. this is what's lit. You jumped off the porch, hold up, right? You jumped off the porch, you was doing what you was doing, right? And granted, I'm not judging you for it, because we all had nigga, we both had those circumstances, right? But I, like I'm trying to 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 walk the thin line of like what's right and our circumstances. What I mean by that is, okay, cool. You jumped off the porch. You did what you had to do. You became a household name. And we could sit, we just sit here and say how, but you could have been an influence to someone else who didn't know how to move, how you moved, and it ended and it cost him his life. We, we said you could have been an influence. I'm not saying you, I'm not about to blame that. On, we're not about to do that. But I'm just saying hypothetically, right? If this is, if this can be the worst case scenario from our actions, from our influence, is it worth it? That's the question. Is it worth it? Is it is it worth him? He might not do, he might be have the good guidance not to do it, right? But he's still promoting something. And another young nigga could probably do the same situation. Put it, put it. That's, that's, it's not his fault. Of course not. And it, and it's not going to be his fault because even if he don't do it, it's, it's a rapper that they like more than him. That's more influential to him, to them than he is. Mm. So if he ain't doing the next nigga going to do it, this it's like ain't no way around this shit. Ain't no way around this shit. Ain't no way. See, see, and another thing, nigga, when I jumped off the porch, I'm gonna tell you why. You know, this is why I jumped off the porch, right? Because where I grew up, my I don't have no siblings. I got I got a couple brothers. I just met them like not too long ago, and they from the whole other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? So I just met them in real life when I was a rapper on tour and I went to their city. You understand what I'm saying? So it was just me and my mama. And she didn't really like, she was doing what she could, what she could type shit. And it was like, shit, it was the best it could be. But nigga, I didn't really like, I didn't have a lot. I wasn't like a spoiled kid. When I was growing up, I used to have to 
get my cousin clothes. He used to come to me with a, a, a garbage bag full of clothes. Like, I used to love when he couldn't fit his clothes no more. His mama, he used to, couldn't wait to give me his bag of clothes. I used to always have shit like that. I never had, nigga, I didn't get a, a real pair of Jordans until I got rich. Literally, though, like, for real. I swear to God, I just seen Benny say that shit the other day, and I'm like, man, that's crazy, because I really didn't. I never got a, a, a pair of Jordans, like a pair of two, $300 shoes. I never had that. I never had that. I come from going to school and getting one or two pair of shoes a year. A year. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You got to make this shit work. Facts. Even when I was going to school, I, could, I was so happy when I finally started being able to get Aeropostale and American Eagle and shit like that. That shit used to make me happy. And what? that shit ain't shit when you really think about it. I, swear I didn't I... have polo. I didn't have none of that shit. I remember I'm when I was you. able to get Aeropostale, the shit, it was too late because niggas getting American Eagle. Because you know, American <laughs> Eagle was, was more than Aeropostale. I'm like, uh -huh. God, Aeropostale damn. Aeropostale was the cheapest version. Yeah. I was like, damn, give me a break. I, I feel you, nigga. I, ain't, I understand. So, so, French toast, man. The the uniforms, come on, man. Talk, don't play with me, nigga. I'm here with you. I know but, what the fuck is up. But so it be shit like that. Like the older a nigga start getting, it be like, man, fuck this shit. Mm. Hell no. Nah. Fuck that. Fuck that. And it just be like, man, damn. And be like, once you jump off the port, you just get to spiral out of control. And then I just got niggas to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's like a snowball effect. But as a grown man right now, when you know better, you do better. That's when I don't do none of that shit. But how do we align our actions with what we know? Or can it just not align and be in the industry? And that's one, one that's the part of the question of standing on business. Man. This is what niggas be, you don't have to, see, when you get in the mindset of, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody, you will really stay out of a lot of shit, because no matter what's going on, nothing will affect you. Because a motherfucker can say what they want to say, you don't care. Mm. You're not supposed to, see, see, but when you in that fraud mindset, motherfucker be like, oh, that nigga, da, 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 you going to jump down his throat, and that's what caused problems. If you, when you get to the mindset to where like, man, fuck that shit, that's when you're going to be cool. But niggas be, niggas be too scared that they're going to be looked at like a whole ass nigga or something like that. Like, sometimes nigga is cool. Like, you don't got to be gangster as fuck all the time, bro. That shit don't mean nothing. I don't even like super tough ass niggas that just come around and just want to be just, ah, man, bro, 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 sit your bitch ass down somewhere. Yeah, fact. Like, for real, though, that shit aggravates me. Like, it's I like, like that shit. You know what it reminds me of? It's like a nigga coming around always talking about hoes. Shut the fuck up. Bro, I hate them <laughs> just like, I hate them type Yo, of Yo, where the hoes at? Where the bitch at? Get the fuck. I hate them type of niggas. Like, that's what it reminds me of. Shut up, bro. Just nah, facts. Cool out. Like, nah, facts. Feel me? So, niggas, niggas don't have, niggas, niggas ain't like back against the wall. I gotta do this shit. No, man, these niggas be doing that shit because they not really like that. Or because it's so. Man, not really like that. You doing this shit for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You're not doing that shit because of what you standing on. You doing that shit because of like some other shit. Like you trying to prove a point. And when you come from that, bro, you know that, bro. Man, we don't want the last prove points, thing that you want to do, wanna bro. Prove a point. I don't care. Like I don't care, bro. I don't care what a nigga think of me, bro. I don't care. I don't mm. care. When the last time you been back home, bro? Probably like, damn, when the last time I've been back home? What, whenever the fuck Deshaun Watson's birthday was. I ain't been back home in a little second, a couple months. That's good. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you used to, we probably used to go back home a lot. But you know what's so crazy? Even when, when I went back home that time, I was there for a few days, like, doing nasty shit, too. Like, I'm going to the little hood parties. I'm goddamn, I'm popping up on niggas. I'm on no security, no none of that. I'm goddamn, I'm, I'm walking in them bitches, and they like, man, what the fuck? I'm just doing regular shit just to show motherfuckers like, man, I'm still him. Don't never think I got too big to not do this shit. But it be like shit, man, bro, I'm so, like, when you growing up, like, I just seen Cat Williams just say this shit yesterday. He's like, man, I'm from Ohio. When you from Ohio, first thing you think about is how the fuck I'm going to get away from this snow. 
man, everybody, a nigga a liar if he say he don't want to move out of Cleveland mm -hmm. or move out of his city, period. Ain't period. no nigga who go. the fuck don't want to move out their city? Who don't want to do that? Just because you can't at the moment, don't talk down on the niggas that did. That ain't cool. Because you know you really want to. You just can't. And I understand that. But nigga, don't try to downplay another nigga because he left. Doing what the fuck he was supposed to do. Because it ain't nothing in our city. Ain't nothing. You not finna make it nowhere coming up in our city. What the fuck is you finna do? Ain't nowhere to go. It's a dead end, nigga. Where you going? We come from nothing, for real. Like, Cleveland, Ohio, is nothing there. We got sports. Shit. And our Browns just got turned. Shit, so now we got sports. Nigga, y'all got, got, got more sports than us, nigga. So I feel you, nigga. We got the Ravens nothing and that's there. it. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you, nigga. I'm 100% I'm like, he's popping his shit. Yeah. But a nigga coming from the city, and I'm pretty sure you felt this, just like you're trying to get away from your city, it ain't no better feeling than being lit in your city. Man, bro, bro, nigga just, look, I swear to God, it's so crazy. Just the other day, it's a little blog page. It's a little Ohio blog. I swear to God, they, they be dropping this little list like every year and shit, like uh, the top 50 artists in Ohio type shit. And mind you, you know, when I talk to the nigga, like when we cool, I'm number one on the list. Like when I be responding to him, <laughs> fucking with him and shit. But then when I don't be talking to him and shit, I've, I'll be number two or number three. But I don't care because in reality, I don't, but I don't even be one to get to pop in my shit because everybody already know. We already know what's really going on. Like, so Sheesh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be one to seem like I'm trying to downplay nobody else that's upcoming. And I don't want them niggas to even think that I think I'm better than them. So I don't even be really saying nothing for real. I just be sitting back, just minding my business, just politely doing my thing, though. You get what I'm saying? Y'all niggas see this shit. Everybody see it. Mm. You see what's going on. You see I can't be fucked with in no kind of way. Like, it's not even possible. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you feel me, though? Pop your shit off, for real. You understand? But it be like, shit, but I don't even want a motherfucker to think I'm even thinking like that. So a motherfucker really, what he came out and said, he was like, uh... The list got it going on. Niggas comment on that bitch and shit. He respond to a nigga and say, damn. He tagged me in the comment and say, damn, dope boy. They said, you from Atlanta now. Then you know what he do after that? He get on his story and post it on his story and say, damn, dope boy. You from Atlanta now? Damn, they saying you from Atlanta now. You know what I respond back to it? I literally reposted his story and I put the little Bow Wow song on there. The Bow Wow Wow, Yippee Yo, Yippee Yay. I respond with song like that. <laughs> and then I made a post right after it and I, I'm like, damn, that's crazy because you gonna say that about the nigga? The nigga? The nigga? The yep. him? Like the one who really put this bitch on. Like if you go anywhere outside of Ohio, they gonna ask you and you say like, shit, I'm from Ohio. They gonna be like, shit, you know, dope boy. The nigga who making this bitch a, a household name, who making this shit respected, who putting, I'm making niggas put respect on our name because don't nobody know we like how he is until I came out. I I'm the reason they know that Cleveland is like this. I'm the reason they know Ohio is like this. I was going to ask you what other, I forgot Bow Wow was from Ohio because he was repping Atlanta a lot. Yeah. He was, but he was rapping in Ohio early. I was going to ask you, was it any other rapper that like kind of blew it out the, the waters and you was like, look, man, look, man, you got MGK, Trippy Red, right? And you got Kid Cudi. Damn. So look, so look, MGK, he a, I fuck with him. That's my dog. But MGK, when I be saying, like, this Ohio shit, MGK, not a street nigga. He don't portray to be a street nigga. He, don't, he in a whole nother world. So I don't, like, include that when I be saying that. Mm -hmm. Because I ain't going to lie. I can't fuck with that white boy when it comes to, like, no numbers and shit like that. Nah, he whooping all our ass. Like, I'm not going to bap you down. Like, I ain't no lying ass nigga. Can't fuck with him. <laughs> can't nobody fuck with him from Ohio. <laughs> I ain't going to bap 
even with Trippy. Nigga can't fuck with that nigga on no. I mean, like, you just, I didn't even know. You said like Trippy Red Kid. You said Kid Cudi? Kid Cudi too. Nigga can't fuck with that nigga on no numbers. But only thing is, niggas fuck with Trippy and niggas fuck with MGK, but niggas don't fuck with Cudi. For real? I thought your fan base was crazier than both of them niggas. Look, it, look. When I say, when I say, I don't, I don't got as many gold plaques as neither one of them niggas. I don't got platinum records like neither one of them niggas. You feel me? I got like one or two gold rec like you feel me? And them like features. And like one of my gold records is goddamn on a feature with Trippy. One of those songs, that shit about to go gold. If it didn't go gold already, shit. You get what I'm saying though? So I ain't gonna sit here and even bat like that. But them niggas in a whole nother lane. I'm talking about like this, like that come from like that be on some nigga. I'm a street nigga shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But not even saying like. But it's, no, it's kind of like no. You're right. Different. It's, it's kind of like Detroit. Like different. Detroit. Another world. Detroit got Eminem. They got um. What's the other nigga name? Uh, fucking Big Sean. But they nowhere near like a like a. What's the nigga's name? You had a nigga on your project. Uh, who? Babyface. Babyface Ray. Baby it's Ray? nothing like. Yeah, for sure. It's different. Like you got that's mainstream. And then you Big got Sean and Babyface Ray is nowhere near the same type yeah, of yeah. Like Big Sean is from Detroit, but Babyface Ray is it's a different it's, type. Yeah, it's of, different. You know it's different. You got mainstream. You got trenches. It's Ooh, different. Was Big it a Sean nigga? I don't even try to. You know, was you the first nigga that was from the trenches that came up? Yeah, hell Cleveland? yeah. That's why I be popping my shit like that. So you really opened the door for the other I niggas. I kicked the door down for all the rappers upcoming from the city. Ain't not one rapper from. Ohio that blew up from the trenches before me. Man, you said the whole state. The whole state. Ain't not one rapper from the trenches of Ohio that blew up before me. And I'm not, I'm not over exaggerating or nothing. Mm. I was the first one to do it. Except for if you're gonna talk about like if you want to claim Bone Thugs and Harmony as like street rappers and shit like that. But I feel like that's some that's old school, that's more so old school. And not really new school street shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a difference too. It's a difference with that too. Who's some other street niggas that came up after you that was like, that's really on a map? Who was, you want me to tell you who was on their way? Yeah. Q Money. Mm. Q Money was on niggas' ass, for sure. And guess what? I was one of the first person that saw his potentials. Q would tell you some real nigga shit about me, man. For real. Mm. Overly. Give me top five. You want to say Ohio? I don't. I'm gonna say Cleveland. Top five. I don't want to. I don't even want to do that because they gonna cry. You gonna make the whole city mad. They all gonna cry. But I mean, trenches. That's different talk. I ain't talking about just period. I'm saying like. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. So because all the rapper, all the rappers coming up out the city down there, trenches rappers now. But no, the niggas that put on. They don't. Are you, that talking, don't, are you talking about? Are you talking about that's famous? That, that opened the, the gate, the, not the gatekeepers. gatekeepers, not gatekeepers. The niggas that opened the door for the niggas to come through. Who would you say top five? Like for I the said, street rappers, mm -mm. man. Like I said, I ain't dropping no names. It's that bad. I'm not dropping no names. I ain't I don't even want to drop no names because niggas be two in their feelings. It's going, it's going, like, you got to understand, especially if it's coming out of my mouth, it's going to sting, like, mm. niggas going to be like, man, he ain't say my name, or he ain't do this to that, I don't even want to say no names. They already hate me enough. <laughs> they hate you in the city? Like, you know how I be. They let the fuck out me, though. They let the fuck out me. They let the fuck out me. But niggas, of course niggas going, hey, of course. I mean, niggas want you put them on. Bro, niggas, niggas don't like nobody that's not, they, every nigga, only nigga, the niggas that fuck with me is the niggas I fuck with. The niggas that don't fuck with me is the niggas I don't fuck with. Mm. But I can't fuck with everybody. Yeah, thanks. So it'd be like, ain't no rapper from their city. Isn't any you can name any rapper in any city. It's like that though. That's just how it be. Except yeah. for like the fans and the people who just really support a nigga. But the niggas who feel like they know you or feel like, oh, I shook your hand before. If you shook a nigga hand before, he feel like y'all are supposed to be friends right now. Oh, he's hands on me. And he going to say bullshit about, he going to kick you down, like, feel me? So it be like, man, I don't even. I ain't going to lie. Cleveland and, and Detroit, I feel like I feel like the sound is so similar for some reason, but I feel like Cleveland got some shit. Like, it was this one, I think it's a girl from Cleveland. She got braces. What's her name? 
That shit be cranking. What, which one? What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shit, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Who is the hottest female rapper from Cleveland? I feel like if you said she gotta be the hottest. How you finna give me jump by the bitches? Look. <laughs> Just name, what is she, she did the F, what is she did the uh, I don't uh know from what? the from the block freestyle? I think she from Cleveland. Shit. Nobody know. know? I don't know. I don't know what What's her name? From. No, it wasn't like Scarlet of Scarlet Black. Scarlet Black? Scarlet Black go crazy. Cincinnati. Okay. Cincinnati. okay. Her shit fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, ain't Scarlet go crazy. Her shit fire. Money right there. He from Cincinnati. Hey, Skylar Black, though, she go crazy. Her shit fire. Crazy, I feel like crazy. Cleveland got a cool. And, and what's her number? I, I don't want to say her name, but um, no. Nah, I'm tapped in. Oh, I see. I'm tapped in. There's another chick named uh, Miss Piggy or some shit. I don't know. She like I'm tapped in, bro. Come on, dog. I'm really tapped in, bro. I'm really like laughing and shit in the back. I'm tapped in. Nah. Damn. So, but you for sure are one of the the niggas that opened the door. Question. I know you tired of this future shit, so I ain't gonna ask you about future. You know it's I ain't asking nothing about future. We ain't about to talk about future. We don't have to, bro. We already know, like that Love shit. Is, future, I know, we know, like everybody know. Like <laughs> I'm intentionally not saying shit about future, but future help put you on. Yeah, for sure. Who the next nigga you gonna be the future to? Shit, my whole gang. Get, you gotta give me a name. The whole RBMG, the whole rubber. Give me one name. The whole rubber and money gang, man. I got Big Flame. I got Johnny Blaze. I got Hollywood Goonie. I got goddamn Bad Boy Banky. I got uh, shit. I even got a. I got a pop singer. His name Cody McConaughey. Like hold I, up, I'm all over the place. Nah, man. nah, nah. That's Arthur easy. Dag Young. Got, nah, 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 nah. Hold up. Nose that branch. I got the. Nah, guy. nah, nah. That's easy. No, they all. Jack. I got all kinds. These all your niggas. You me? Yes. My whole gang coming with me. They all from Cleveland? Yes. All right, nah, that's that's, that's different. Hold up. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah, that's yeah. different. Nah. That's everybody. everybody nah, that fuck I, that. That's on my label. Fuck that. That's it be so. No. Man, fuck. what? Hear what I'm saying. Man, the whole. Man. Hear what I'm. What? You ain't from Atlanta. You wasn't a part of Future Gang. Right? I'm saying I need a. So hold up. Nigga. I do want one though. So is a nigga. I do want is one. Is a nigga that's reaching out to you like you was. I do want one. Is a nigga that's reaching out to you how you right was reaching nigga. out the future, right? I gotta find the right nigga. I gotta find the right nigga. See, even when I when I fuck with niggas and when I like, when I like before I sign a nigga type shit, I gotta really like. You gotta come around. You gotta kick it for a little minute. Niggas gotta fill you out. Niggas gotta like really approve of that shit. Like nigga, it gotta be because. You would get in a sticky situation. I feel you, you but you signed a nigga the whole time. That nigga was I but I do want to sign a nigga from hell yeah, I want to sign a nigga from out of town. But let's say not even sign a nigga yet. Cause like when you before you got on free band game, right? You already said it, I'm free band. I, I fuck with that nigga, right? You you what yeah, was it? But, Live but when I when I when I when I when I say sign a nigga, I don't even necessarily mean like on paper. Okay. Like it just be like snapping. Co sign, like yeah, yeah, yeah. money game, like you with me. Like yeah. You just you feel me? For sure. That's what I'm asking. Like, hell yeah, I want to do that. I just gotta find the right nigga. But do you feel like you there yet to be able to do that? No. See, see, this the thing. I do, and let me, look, I do, but I don't. So look, it depends on what your expectations is. If you expect to sign to me and be on tomorrow, it's not like I'm, I'm gonna tell you like, no, I'm not the guy for that. But if you trust me with your career and you got faith in what I got going on. I could bring you up with me. Mm. As I go up, you could come up. If you got faith in me like that, then I feel like if I sign you, it'll work. But if you think I could sign you and put you on tomorrow, get the fuck away. Because mm. I can't. Because I ain't even all the way on. So how the fuck am I going to do that? Yeah, yeah. I get that. The biggest rappers in the world. Nigga, Future the biggest rapper in the world. Don't you think if he could have woke up tomorrow and made up with the biggest rapper in the world, I would have been the biggest rapper in the world. He ain't try everything under the sun. Ain't that it's easy. still taking a long time. Yeah, it ain't that easy. You know what I'm saying? You can't wake up. It ain't no skipping steps. You yeah. can't rush the process. For sure. Yo, how did you know that? Like, cause I feel like when Future co-signed you, he wasn't the biggest. He was like he was coming up, but he was turned. He well, was turnt. I might say, and I'm just gonna ask you how you how was you so tapped in? Because maybe he could, but how did okay. I know he was gonna be that one? Cleveland is in the middle. It's like. Cause, cause I was, I was like, I used to pay attention to music cause I was really, I was really trying to be a rapper. So I used to be like, 
plugged in with niggas that's like, man, I swear to God, the first nigga that really got me hip to Future was Hood Rich King. Okay. So, so, so he used to tell me like, man, this nigga hard as fuck. And he used to send me this back like Dirty Sprite days. Like, and he used to send Dirty me- Dirty Sprite one? The first one. Yeah, yeah. Like when he was coming up. Before he even had Racks on Racks. Racks on Racks wasn't even up. Yeah. Like it didn't blow up yet. Racks on Racks is the shit he did with, and uh, help me out, G G huh? He was with, um, what's the nigga name? What's his name? Um, Wasi, that was before Wasi, Rocco? Wasi, Wasi. Wasi. No, 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 how you, no. How you know that? That was like, that's an Atlanta nigga. He know what the fuck I'm talking about. His name was Wasi. Yeah. Rex and Rex was with Wasi. Wait, so I'm 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 curious how you know, because like if you ask me, we ain't know. Like, in Baltimore, I would have, if you, you asked me, you me I would have thought really, Boosie would have been as big You want me to tell you how I really knew about that song? For real, for real though? Like that song. You want me to tell you how I first heard that song? All right, so boom. Like I said, Hoover's King always used to tell me about Future and shit, right? And then I swear to God, because I used to be in tune with like producers heavy. Mm. Like you see, I was fucking with the South Sides and the Lex Luger yeah. and shit like that. So Sunny Digital, I used to be tag. I used to love the fuck out of his beats. So I used to pay attention. Back then, Sunny Digital was like that? Man, what? He produced Rex on Rex. I'm saying before Rex on Rex. He would that's crazy. Nigga. See, I'm from Sunny up north. We like I I know Sunny Digital little lit. Like I I, I already, yeah, already no, knew he was lit. No, Sunny been had smoke. Like. So Sunny, Sunny is what made me really like, damn, okay. That's Watch crazy. His, his, all right, bet. He like, so it, you feel me? So I started connecting the dots, and then I really went to go listen to Future Project. And I really listened to this nigga, and it was just something so special about him. I swear to God, the day I told you, bro, he dropped the True Story mixtape. He dropped the True Story, and I was on track number two. I swear to God, I'm like, man, this nigga hard as fuck. Yo, that's that's this nigga really hard, bro. The fact that you knew that before, because this is we talking future before, like it's a debate that it's a debate between future and Drake nowadays in some cities, right? We ain't about to get into that, but the fact that that's a debate is crazy. And you talking about before Dirty Sprite too? Like me from where I'm from, I would have bet a million dollars that would have been Boosie or Yo Gotti. Hmm. I, like that's how I'm thinking like Boosie Yo so the fact that you I didn't even hear Future at that time so I'm trying to figure out like, like you you from fucking Cleveland that's crazy yeah hell yeah cause I used to I fuck with that internet shit like I used to like really like I'd be on Twitter like I used to really have a Twitter I used to be I swear to God bro I used to be on Twitter I would tweet everybody like I would go on like a famous person page and I would see like if they fans would tweet them or something like that, I would goddamn, I'd drop a song and I had like a motherfucking, the link to the song and I motherfucking, I'd tweet them my link. Like, hey, go listen to this song, da 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 And I'd tweet 100 people a day. Damn. I really was trying. That's, that's, like, I really was like, man. That's work. Man, I'm telling you, I tell niggas, you don't know what this shit really take to get here. That's work. Niggas don't know, niggas be trying to skip steps, man. Niggas want to wake up and just be famous tomorrow. That's crazy. And that's why my fan base go back to, you hear me? I just posted a tweet the other day. I said, hey, how y'all meet me? Go look at the replies on that bitch. It's all old shit. All right, let's go back then. Because you said you met Southside first, but your first project was with Lex Luger. Because they was, they was all Brick Squad. So... Southside, I, Southside, I had a song called Bands On Me with Southside. That was one of them songs that I was going around sending to everybody. Like, I was trying to get that song going. That was one of the songs that I first started getting my first little traction on. And and even when I started fucking with Lex, I just never did a whole project with Southside. Because I only got a couple beats from Southside. Mm. When I did a project with Lex, because Lex had gave me a whole bunch of beats. The pack, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, shit, okay. I'm going to make this shit a whole mixtape. like. And then you did a part two. Then I did a part two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Okay. By the time I did part two, I was like, wait, already on my way. Like, I was already... Okay. Cause I was out of I, here, in my bro. mind, I'm, I'm trying way. to figure out how is Midwest, like... I feel like Midwest would be closer to North Baltimore, but maybe not. Because, like, you tapped in with the South. You got to think, you got to think, bro. Even when I did part two, it, even, it was it was Doughboy, Lex Luger, and Young Chop. You know, Young Chop was going so crazy because when he was blowing up with Keith and them, like, Young Chop was producing all the hot records coming out. Like, when he blew up with Keith, everybody started getting shit from Chop. Damn. 
Chop ended up doing. How did you get locked in with these niggas being from the Midwest, though? Like, bro, you're smack Cleveland, smack dead Midwest. You fucking with Chicago niggas, Atlanta. Like, how was you? Like, how did that happen? Twitter. That's crazy. I told you, I used to be really promoting my music. Like, what made you so popular in Cleveland? What made me so popular in Cleveland? You know, it's crazy. Nigga, even when I was coming up in Cleveland, like for real, for real, my big brothers was the ones that was lit for real, for real. Like, okay. Dumb niggas, dumb niggas. So I was coming up under them type shit. Like, nigga, nigga, the motherfucking, you got to understand, we had the, the most powerful movement, like, that the city probably ever seen. Like, this Taliban shit, like, for real, like, nigga can't say we wasn't the littest shit the city had ever seen. Like, literally, though, nigga can't say that we wasn't. Mm. And and I was a part of that, and it was like just coming up, and the shit. I was just doing my thing. Like I really, I really wasn't. I wasn't the most turnt rapper. I wasn't the most turnt rapper from Taliban. I went in the like you feel me, but I just always just stayed down. You get what I'm saying? Like I wasn't even really tripping about that shit. I always just stayed down, and then it just like shit just happened. But niggas always knew. Niggas knew I was chosen though. Like, I was like, man, nigga, Doughboy going to be one of the ones when he get older. Like, as he this time going, when Doughboy really develop into, like, when he get his music off. Because I've always been hard. I just really, like, had to learn how to really start making songs the right way and start really, like. And I'm really feeling like, nigga, I really just learned how to start making songs, like, within the last Six years, like seven years, like for real. Like I always could rap my ass off, but like really making a hard ass okay. song. Uh, I'm about to say, because six, all right, honest, one of my favorite songs is I think I told you, like, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah, that's what that's that was recent. That's I'm, I'm but now I'm really to the point where I'm at right now, I know how to make a hit. Mm. So it's only a matter of time for I just keep just so you just music. dropping singles right now, though. Mm-hmm. I don't want to because because my goal already accomplished. Am I, BZ, you really stepped on niggas with that yeah, one. Yeah, no, my goal already accomplished as far as, like, dropping albums. It's motherfuckers who, like, you got to think, bro. I got, what, 600K followers? Nigga, it's motherfuckers with 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, 10 million, 15 million. Selling the same first week copies as me. Mm. Get what I'm saying? So, I'm on the right path. I know. So, it's like, all right, boom. I know I could do that. And I did it multiple times. Mm. So, now I see it ain't fluke. It ain't, no, this shit for real. Like, I really got this shit lit. It's going on. So, now I got different goals. That was one of my goals. I wanted to accomplish that. I always wanted to drop a project and, and get on the, 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 the top five on Apple Music. And then I drop a project and it's like I'm sitting up here with Drake and this nigga... That nigga, Lil Dirt, Moneybag, yo, him. Like, you get what I'm saying? The biggest rappers in the world. A nigga from Cleveland. And now I could drop it. Now I could be right up there in the mix. That was always a goal of mine. But now that's not my goal no more. I don't even care about this shit no more. Now, I know what I need. I need a hit single. I need a big song. You got to think, bro, I'm doing all this with no big record. Look at everything that I done accomplished. No big, I ain't got, like, I got songs that went crazy, but I ain't never had a song that really been like, boom, it's the biggest song in the world. Wait, Ding, don't you got a song with, <laughs> wait, you got a song with, uh, Drake, right? <laughs> I like that. I like that. You do. I like that. Tell that nigga stop playing, bro. Clear the fucking record, no. bro. <laughs> Clear the fucking record, bro. It's his song. Tell him, give it to you. You're right, though. I do need that motherfucker. <laughs> Jeez. Bro, just give it to me. Like, let me post that shit. Come on, bro. Can I drop that song? God damn. The Come fuck? on, can I drop that song, bro? Come on, bro. The fuck is going on, man? Nah, bro. I mean, you on the way though. Like, I, mean, I feel like everybody don't, like you know that. But I feel like that be frustrating though. Like being on the way. Like I'm tired of being on the way, bro. 
Yeah, no, nah, everybody gonna go through that though. Everybody gonna go through that. Like, I was talking to set my my nigga Seti Hendrix, and we was just talking about like it's different. Like when you're at the bottom, you can't see the top. The middle is probably the hardest part to be at because it's like, yo, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're right there. So yeah, it's like that's the most. But but this is what I always say about motherfuckers. You know when motherfuckers give up when they be right at the finish. Line. Yeah. That's when motherfuckers really give up. Yeah. Niggas don't even quit when they all the way at the bottom. Yeah, fact. They quit when they get right to the finish line. Nigga, fact. you was just like one step away. Yeah. You quit. Mm -hmm. Niggas wait till they get to the end and quit. Yeah. For sure. So that is the hardest part. Because it's like, man, what do I do next? And that's the part I'm at right now. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Because, like, to Nigga, me. Nigga, I'm sitting there, I'm kicking on this bitch. Like, uh, this shit won't, like, fuck. And this bitch just won. Doom! Away, I'm telling you. But it's funny because to niggas like me, to niggas that's from your city, and and I'm not on no cliche shit, not on no dick riding shit, but like you there, like to like you there, and, and, and but that that be another thing. That's that's that's, that's the biggest fucking problem. <laughs> because when motherfuckers start looking at you like you own, yeah, it make it harder to get on. Ah, yeah, man, I swear to God, bro, you want to know what's the realest shit. Man, Future used to always tell me, like, man, don't start wearing the jewelry too much. Like, don't start getting too fly. Don't start doing it. Don't do, don't do it yet. I swear to God, he used to really tell me that. Like, for real. He really tell me, don't do that shit yet. And now I see exactly what the fuck he was talking about. Why, though? I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, because why? once you start putting that shit on, niggas going to start looking at you different. But that's it's helping you, though. No, no, it's not. It's really because. Zaytoven said, he said, no, well, first, my first look, 10, I got to change because it helped look, me. Look, listen, listen. It's really creating a disconnect. Jeez. It's creating a disconnect. You know why? Because these young niggas, when you a gangster rapper, it's creating a disconnect. Because now, maybe, maybe not to the to the to the world, but like really to like mainly like even like where you from, and like when when motherfuckers start feeling like. We can't reach him no more. We can't reach him no more. Motherfuckers start looking at you different. Because it's like, man, niggas can't relate to having all that ice. Niggas I thought it set you apart, though. Like, I ain't one of you niggas. Look, look. So it's, it's different stages. It's different stages. See, you got to wait till you a certain level before you... When you got a hit record, and when you got a hit record... It's gone. It's go time. Okay. Okay. It's go time. Now it's time to start I putting the shit okay. on because yeah. niggas looking at, oh shit, he got a record. When you got a record, ain't nothing deniable. Okay. You could be, I don't care what you is in the world. You could be a fuck nigga, uh, a bitch, snitch. They don't care. You got a hit, it's up. So when you got a hit, you can do whatever you want. Okay, I get that. But when you trying to come up and trying to make the people fuck with you and resonate with you, when you doing all that, they like, that shit cool. They be like, oh, okay, but I'm going to go look at little dirty dude over here with the goddamn, yeah, you I feel me? That. Because I can understand him. That makes sense. Do you feel like you need it when you got a hit? What, when you, when, you, when you got a hit, do you need the jewelry and all that shit? Yeah, because it's time to level up then. All right, yeah. I think, yeah. I'm with you. Then it's time to go up. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, with like, I'm with you. Yeah, so it's like you got to get to that point. But when you trying to get the hit, you you gotta you gotta connect with the people to make the hit. I'm with you. I feel like the jewelry can help the hit. No, help you get the hit. Kinda. No. But look, but look, but look, but look, but look, nigga. When I when I motherfucking even when I had minivans, nigga, I had on motherfucking. I had on. I did have chains. I ain't gonna lie. I I'm about to say you had. I had chains on, but. It wasn't no super crazy shit. It wasn't no like, it wasn't like to where you would look at me and be like, oh, that nigga rich. Okay. Cause nigga, I had chains on nigga, but I had on a Pac Sun outfit. I had a Pac Sun outfit. I had the, the Pac Sun motherfucking the uh the boys in the hood hoodie, goddamn, with a mask on, with gloves on. Like, so it's like, nigga, you ain't even paying them chains no attention. Cause nigga, I done seen that hoodie when I walked in Pac Sun shit. I got that motherfucker in my closet. But what's more so important? I relate to you. The chain. Or the drip? What's more important? Look, see, people not paying attention to the chain because they're looking at the fact that you you dress like him. He look like me. Mm. When I'm ready to go, uh, only thing that's different is he do got a chain on. So 
But other than that, this nigga got a mask on with gloves on and a Pakistan outfit. I got that hoodie in my closet. Okay. So, so, so when you go up and then you like, all right, look, I ain't gonna lie, everything on me right now, straight designer. Like everything is designed from the head to the toe, like down to the socks. Like it just get like that. Motherfucker can't like niggas fuck with it. Niggas gonna be like, shit, man, he dripping. And 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 but this is what motherfuckers expect from me now. Mm. They expect from me now to do this because I didn't crossed over to certain type of levels. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't reach certain accomplishments. So motherfuckers expect for me to be rich. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now they understand it more. But I kind of did it a little too early. So I had to fight through that hump. Okay. And get you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Nah, this shit was hard. This shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, what made <laughs> The, the text came right on time. This shit is fire. I appreciate you, bro. No, I appreciate you. For real, man. This shit is fire. What, what, what's, what can we look forward to? Shit, I ain't going to bet. I'm going to fucking... Um, I just want to... Uh, like I said, I'm going to just ride out and just drop singles and just see what catch. Like, Because I got so much music that I've been working on and I've been just perfecting my craft and how I want to come out to the world. And like what's going on? Like I shit, I'm I'm back on my old shit. Like I got them, I just shot some shit with a dicky suit on. That's all. Shit, right. I'm back. I'm doughboy though. Yeah, like I'm right. back on. I'm oh really? Like I'm back on that though. Like and shit, and I'm still gonna put that shit on because motherfucker, I gotta show motherfuckers shit. Y'all can't dress better than me. Y'all can't do nothing better than me. You know what some shit? I'm gonna show to... them niggas that though. You know some shit you used to do? What? You might gotta get back to? Not not what? not might. What? Remember your block? You probably shot a video on every like corner of the block. Man, I didn't use every man. <laughs> just got my videos, man. Ain't no more areas to use on that motherfucker. Just go back man. and just shoot it in one of the blocks. Like, and that, but that's what. Come on now. Come uh, on, you think I ain't? Yeah. It's crazy. Nah, this is hard, bro. I fuck with you. I appreciate you, brother, for real. Man, damn. This is good, man. J Hill, J Hill podcast. My guy, Doughboy. Oh, really? Big old really. Shit like that. We out, man. This shit was good, bro. How long was that? Yeah.